Okay. It's been almost two years since you suited up for yeah. the Massachusetts Pirates. Yeah. Did you ever have any doubt that you'd be back? Hell no. No, not at all. Um, just for me, man, you know, family prayed. My wife stayed on me to work out. We do expect to see quarterback Tom Brady suit up this coming Sunday as the Patriots look to improve to 9-2. and two. Reporting from Gillette Stadium, this is Lever Ball. UMass trying to make something happen here. That ball crossed and a save. Nicely done. Fakes the handoff, throws down the sideline. Man open. And a touchdown. MIT wins. Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby. And it was Shepard catching the ball in the corner of the end zone. And they storm the field. MIT, for the first time since 1900, beats WPI and ends their undefeated season. So, Claude Julian, he's kind of under some criticism this season. The, the Bruins have had an up and down season. They played well at times. Now, people have talked about his job security. If the Bruins either fail to make the playoffs or are eliminated early, do you expect to see Claude with the Bees next year? No, if they don't. Yeah, another BC, BC matchup there. Obviously ending in the hit by pitch. And yeah, I don't know, Jimenez is probably less likely to buy Sheehan dinner when they go back to school. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome as we come to you live from New Balance Field at Boston University for today's Patriot League field hockey matchup between the BU Terriers and the visiting Bucknell Bison. Well, and with everything you've been through to get back out on the field, describe your emotions for everyone finally suiting up again. I still had to live with the fact that I went down in the playoffs and we lost. Um, it just, it's like, you don't always want to say you got something to prove, but I just want to make He's been a stud in his college career for, for Quinnipiac. I mean, he was ranked by uh, D1Baseball.com as one of the top 150 hitters in the nation. He was also an NCAA Division I All-Northeast Region second team player in 2019. Important. Well, and Coach, I know there were some things you would have uh, liked to you know, see be done differently, but you did get to use the bench quite a bit, make quite a few substitutions. How nice was it just to be able to get some playing time for some of your younger players who maybe don't get quite as much action? Yeah, our younger and our older players. You know, everybody, we, we've established some roles on the team. And, and here it is. And the header. And a goal. And the Terriers are on the board. It's one nothing, and this crowd, I talked about it earlier, if BU took the lead early, they'd be fired up. And they Thanks, Mick. So I'm joined now by Pirates head coach Patrick Pass. Now, coach, what are your thoughts after a big home win for your squad? You know, we just got to continue to play hard and, and finish. Uh Justin was all over the place last night. Like you said, he had that goal, also had an assist. And he was certainly involved in some of the extracurriculars and the pushing and shoving after plays. Now, I love seeing the intensity early in the season. You know who I think didn't appreciate that quite as much? The Holy Cross Crusaders. We'll see if there's some retaliation tonight. 13 seconds. And could this be a scoring opportunity? Seven seconds left in regulation. And deflected out. Looked for a second. Like BU may be able to equalize it with the clock winding down. Well, and Coach, this was your final um, out-of-conference regular season matchup. How much does it help um, to have a win and build momentum going to some key Patriot League matchups down the stretch? Well, it is. I mean, we fi we're finding a swing a little bit, and it would have been... Well, Coach, thanks for your time. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Once again, that's head coach Nancy Feldman. I'm Lever Ball. Thanks for watching.